Again, thank you to all our listeners who, for their support and ongoing comments and contributions to the channel and to the videos. That's yeah, good that's good. Oh, hi! <laughs> How's it going? It's me, I'm Dexter. Welcome to Game of Thrones Ooh. Restaurant and Bar and Grill. What will you be having, boss? I'll have some dragon roasted. Uh, slave Not on the menu. Masters. <laughs> You get bread and grog. Blackened bacon, fish heads. Little black fish. How do you blacken it? A uh, blueberry on a skillet. Truffled skillet. pie. Skillet would blacken it. Well, we put sure, it on a stick and put uh, it over. I blacken stove. it by sticking it in a fire for too long. Where'd you get the stick? The woods. Yeah, outside. <laughs> Where do you think? It first? <laughs> no, this is Westeros. Yeah, nothing's washed. We live in the mud. If you wash, then the weak are gonna live on. Are you telling me you don't have dysentery right now? Because you are missing out, man. Everybody's got it. We begin this week's episode with listener comments. <laughs> you sound... <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Let us, let us now oh, read... We begin oh. this week with listener comments. We begin with listener comments. The again. book of comments. First, we will read the minutes of last week's <laughs> episode. <laughs> At 105, boss farted. <laughs> That's 106, Dexter grimaced. <laughs> Claire Gray said, <laughs> Clearly, oh, clearly HBO are missing a trick in marketing. Tyrion's gag song has a ringtone. <laughs> I've downloaded. To which Master Payne says, I swear he was humming a tune. I just can't place it. To which Freddy Ann says, Master Payne, I think he was humming the rain to Casimir. To which the inventor says, I reckon he was humming getting some head by Shauna. To which Trav says, Darude, Sandstorm. To which Timothy Combs says, At Claire Gray, I think he was just humming and not a specific song. It's hard to convey over typed words, but I think he was just trying to be annoying enough to get Jorah to remove the gag. Okay, then, I ha then there's a confusing comment here from Not Rainy. Walking Dead is better, in my opinion. I think he means a show. Frowny face. Yeah. That's what I assume. Yeah. Better than Game of Thrones. Yeah, that's his opinion. That's his surprising. Opinion. He has a right to his opinion. No, he does. I just... Maybe he has a huge zombie fetish. Yeah. And like you, Oxnard. Then, and then you would like Walking Dead much better. I'm exactly. Just, I'm just surprised by that. Well, if you had a zombie fetish, maybe you'd understand. I guess so. I think that's the problem. I don't have... Tallulah Willett says... Where the F the Greyjoys at? Yeah, where are those Greyjoys at? <laughs> to which Timothy Combs says, <laughs> I'm so disappointed that they negated the Greyjoy King's moot storyline, especially with the significance of Euron if you buy into the theories about him. Look them up. Look them up. Look them up if you're into spoilers. <laughs> Look them up. Yeah, the Greyjoy's King, King's moot boss. Yeah? It's not on oh, the show. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're not what doing it that? in the show? Tell me about it. Can you tell me about it? Well, well according to, if now. that comment means anything, that, I, I always think Timothy Combs knows a little bit more. There's a few <laughs> things that aren't I've heard aren't going to be in the show. Oh, um, so like the uh, wet hair or what? Damp hair? Yeah. Yeah. What the hell's damp hair? It's essentially a whole other religion. Yeah. That oh. I don't think you're ever going to know about. Oh, okay. yeah. I don't think we'll they're just ever save come it up. just in case. Yeah. I guess yeah. they figure all these different religions and groups, harpies and second sons, all these things that people would just go nuts trying to figure it out. Tallulah Willett then responds, I hope that we will get to see the other Greyjoys after King... Mm, should I not? <laughs> uh, I don't even know what the hell she's talking about. Boss, do not look at these comments. <laughs> Two ladies looking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't think he would even understand. Yeah, I don't understand any of that. Okay. We won't read these, though. Some comments, just a side note, will not be read due to spoiler-like things in them. <laughs> just a side note. Hey, Timothy Combs is a comment for you, boss. Where's that one? Hey, boss! I had the same thought on the Unsullied getting killed so easily, and it pissed me off, too. But on another podcast, they suggested that maybe the Sons of the Harpy doing the fighting are actually the former Slave Master's bodyguards or police force. That's the only thing that I could accept, because even if they weren't meant for confined space combat, I still call bullshit after all the Unsullied hype in the past. 
Also, when's the new How Do or D and D? Looking more forward to that than the new season of GOT. But seriously, you guys are the most entertaining motherfuckers ever. So keep it up. Got that PayPal donation on monthly repeat. I wish I could give you more, but I'm not rich. LOL. And let me get that spoiler episode, brah. All right, so... Uh, well, thank you, Timothy Combs, yes, first of all. Thank you. <laughs> supporting the, the show, le- supporting STS Enterprises. And he sets a good, he's a good role model for the rest of our viewers. <laughs> you and the bums. rest of the internet. <laughs> You're a bunch of bums! <laughs> Except for Timothy Combs, you hear me? You're all uh, bums! And the rest of the internet. We have a how-do recorded that I was just trying to find other things on it. Remember, we recorded for like 45 minutes? Yes, that's right. Falstopia. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, D and D, as I dystopia, <laughs> the greatest movie ever made. D and D sidequel is uh, almost ready to be sent to you guys. Yes. So, yeah, Woo! and then we got to figure out when to do a spoiler episode. But first, what yeah. I need to do is read a lot of the wiki and refamiliarize myself. Oh with my it. god, I, it's amazing how much I've forgotten. Because if we do it now, I'm just gonna be like. Remember that guy and like the red hair? <laughs> it was him that did the things, right? Not the other person. Then Dragonstone. Oh yeah! Wasn't Spoiler that alert! Valerian magic made of rocks, or wasn't there like another dwarf that was female and you know. she banged the guy who had the things? And then Varys was like, "Whoa!" And then Trav has a comment for you, Dexter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Plainview here. Dexter said that's a very popular song at weddings. I've been to three weddings. No, four weddings. No, no, five weddings. Nobody gives a shit, Dexter! It wasn't really all that important that you get that inane detail right. By the way, your Sean Connery is excellent. By now you should know that I ramble about things that are completely unimportant. It could also be my fault because I usually cut anything I think. Oh, this doesn't really have anything to do. That could have been. I just probably just. These recordings are actually about three hours long, mostly filled with me trying to remember songs I heard at weddings. (laughs) Numerical values for events in your past. (laughs) It's event eighty three. Dash QB. <laughs> I've been to TJ Cotton Eye Fridays. Joe was played at a wedding maybe once. No, two. No, no wait. eight. Then Trav continues. <laughs> P.S. When Tyrion asked Jorah if he had any wine, I thought to myself, Jorah should say, not in the fucking budget, mate. Well, no, we made it. Uh, we finally made it when the creators of the show put give a character that line. Yeah. Not in the bloody PPS. Budget. I've abandoned my child. I've abandoned my child. I've abandoned my boy. P P P P P P P P P P S. Yeah, that's a good game. P P P P P P. Tom Brady was framed. Uh oh, Patriots fan. Forget him. Oh, that's uh, what's that? Uh, the feats ball. Feet ball. Feet ball. You don't even like feet ball. I'm the number one super fan. <laughs> Thank you, Trav. <laughs> Thanks, Trav. Uh, I'll try and be uh, quicker on the edits whenever we start going off topic. <laughs> sometimes it's hard, though, because we go off topic a lot. But maybe I heard that, and, and I was sometimes like, oh, good. maybe he said it funny. And Don't I- just cater to just to Trav. He's a bum. What about Tim Coates? <laughs> <laughs> he must be catered to. His ass must be kissed. <laughs> a crazy guy you know. The last time we saw Gendry, he was being saved by Davos. He was put into a paddle boat and kicked out to sea in the third season finale. I figured next time we see Gendry, we'll just see a dinky paddle boat floating in the background, <laughs> manned by only a lifeless skeleton. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, he's probably just dead. That's uh, that's really the last that's time hilarious. we see him? Yeah, he just kicked him oh, out. Oh, man. You just see, like, a slug on that's the true. skeleton's <laughs> chest. That is hilarious. That's why he locked him up, right? That's why Davos got locked up, or was it something else? Uh, no. Well, he also was was going against uh, Melisandre. He was trying to kill Melisandre. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. She saw it in the flames. And then he learned to read. Hold Reading on. Rainbow, Westeros version. Oh, yeah, do the inventor, because okay. I just did a crazy guy now. Give me a ping, Vasily. Did I miss something here? But if Lancel Lannister has now openly purged himself of all his own sins to that King Sparrow fella... Surely, I, I, surely he and his flock <laughs> have to go. Sh- I've been drinking, boys. <laughs> surely he and his flock have to go after Cersei 
with as much gusto as they did for Laura. Shirley has to go after Shershey? Incest has, the, has to write up there with being gay. <laughs> what? That's that sentence. Incest has to write up there with being gay. Did we talk about you how... You said it, the inventor. It feels like the sparrows in the books were yes. into more... Into like more. In, in the show, it's more about... It almost seems like the religious right... Like being anti-gay and anti all this other stuff. Whereas in the books, they were against... That's true. That makes yeah. sense. I guess it's hinted at with like not eating. They're very anything. conservative. Yeah. It's, ba- the, you know, and it's just like with the strictness of religion, which of course <laughs> has rules which make, you know, ridiculous rules that you have to follow so you can't enjoy anything. Right. Well, you get your reward later on. Yeah. Why bother trying to feel good now? If That's you know true. after you're dead, you'll feel great. In the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> That makes sense. That'll keep people in line. Incest has to write up there with being gay. And Who's they, next? I think it's Ocularius with his paragraphs. I can't read that one because I can't even see the whole thing on my fucking Do you want to read app. Thing? Yeah, let's summarize it. Just a few <laughs> Just notes. Just a few notes. Quick 10,000 words here. <laughs> okay, well, he says Lancel was a knight. I think last week I might have said, you asked me. Was oh, he was, we were knight? talking about him being a squire. A squire, but oh, yeah. he was a knight because remember he goes to Tyrion and he's saying to Tyrion... Like, Tyrion threatened to tell King Joffrey that Sir Lancel was banging Cersei. Littlefinger uh. certainly plays it cool. And then we were talking about if Littlefinger has sex. And then we forgot the scene where, you know, Sansa would hear their him crazy. And Lysa oh, yes, that's sex. right. Oh, yeah, she was super loud. Yeah. But you don't see it happening. So who knows what's really going on in there? Maybe it was Littlefinger <laughs> pretending to be her. He says. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. he he's says, like, Lysa away during the night. Like, yes, that's right. You like it. Yeah, she's passed out. <laughs> we don't know much about Rhaegar in the show, except that he was considered to be the true last true dragon and supposedly kidnapped and raped Lyanna Stark. I doubt he would have been so popular singing in the streets if his father had, was actively burning people alive, so perhaps Mad Kim was not so mad in those days. Possibly. Dragons, harpies, and sparrows. Oh my, I wonder what other winged creature will end up threatening our beloved characters. Perhaps the ineffective iron butterflies of Bravos, the do- deadly Dordish dragonflies, Heron Hull's harried hummingbirds, and white waspers upon- in white... Waspers upon the wall is a wasper, some kind of bird? No, he's just making that shit He's just up. making cracks. Okay. Yeah. Terrible cracks. I wasn't as impressed by the sand snakes. <laughs> First of all, I expected there to be more of them. Mm. Yeah, but, yeah. Hoburn only had three daughters, or these are the only ones who became militant desert hermits? And what about his sons? Did he stop having <laughs> illegitimate <laughs> desert hermits? Militant desert hermits! hermits. <laughs> yeah, basically what they are. We're now leaving society and becoming a militant desert hermit. <laughs> <laughs> Libertarian hermit, Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> no, you shut up, reference. Uh, in, Ver- the, in the book, do you know? Do we know... There are more. There are more? In the show, yeah, there's like Numera, Liamma, Diana, Bilina. There's a few. There many had sons. He had, he had tons. Guy couldn't stop himself. It was part of the Dornish plan. It's the Dornish way. Yeah, don't stop yourself. Don't, don't stop, stop fucking till you don't got a dick or you're dead. Man, woman, I think beast. That's, that's a quote. They're all yeah. up for grabs. It's a George Martin quote. Well, don't stop fucking until you don't got a dick <laughs> or you're dead. Grey Worm and Barrison versus the Sons of the Harpy seemed pretty realistic to me. You have to wonder if the Unsullied are still in the same keen fighting shape now that they have time off from training. That's Visit true. Marthal's Queen Danny isn't so harsh as their They've former gone masters. Soft. Barrison used to be a great swordsman, but he's an old man now. They don't. They both put up a good fight, though. I'm also going to say that patrolling narrow streets with long spears is probably not the brightest idea. True. That's, true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they but need they more. Holding them vertically. They need more kukris like they Bron have huge has shields too. Yeah. Once the enemy closes the distance and puts a dagger in your neck, it's over. Uh, they were outnumbered by the sun. Typically, the, the dagger in the neck will end it. Uh, it was obviously a well-planned trap meant to make the Unsullied. Also, Danny looked weak and unprepared. Barrison was just in the wrong place at the wrong time, and a sense of honor sends him charging into his doom. Yep, now yeah, he's dead. That makes sense. Dead as a doornail. Is that it? I think that's, that's all, it. right? So, I think we nailed it. Again. Before we jump in, any final remarks to our listeners? Um, no. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for your comments, as always. And uh, too bad if I'm talking about the, the weddings I've been to. <laughs> Let's I see. agree with him. <laughs> me too. With me? Yeah, no. With me? Who made that comment? Trav. Trav. Bro, Trav. Bro, Trav. Yeah, Trav makes some pretty interesting remarks. Yeah. Astute <laughs> remarks. Makes good points. Yes. Like my Sean Connery impersonation is awesome. That was the keenest observation mm-hmm. made. Well, that was the one time I thought maybe he was off his game a little, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah me too. Yeah. Great. Thanks. <laughs> Last time we 
we saw um uh mountain killer guy. What's his name? The mountain. The mountain, <laughs> the mountain killer. <laughs> Over him? Do we? No. The mountain killer. Try and let's talk into the mic here. Let's have a conversation. <laughs> the wildling guy. The mountain killer. The, the thens. You mean Torment Torment yes. Giant Slayer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we're the idiots. <laughs> oh, it's the, the mountain killer. Then um, he just trails off into thought. Uh, the last time we saw him was in this episode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the last time we saw him, didn't he have like, did he have like three arrows? In Wasn't he clean stuff? shaven the last time we saw him? <laughs> three arrows? I thought he had like something like that in him. No? No, well, they think... took them out. He I had know. some wounds, but... <laughs> but... He seemed like he was pretty... He's torn. No, the last time we saw him, he was watching Mance Raider burn. He didn't still have the arrows in him. No, it's an arrow know. sticking out of his face. Like he pretty well. Jon Snow, I'll <laughs> go north with you. <laughs> but, but first, you gotta, you gotta perform some surgery on my face. For the love of God. <laughs> it's just Only... a big knife sticking out of the top of his head. Uh... I realize that the harpy in the thing, it, it looks like she's taking a big shit. Yeah, well, that's how they say. I would thought I thought it would be awesome if in the opening with the little miniature, yeah. If, as since they knocked down that harpy, if all of a sudden you just see oh, it go, that would have been the little awesome. harpy falls down. Oh, the first scene was the fucking gray worm. All scene. right, oh, let's yeah, just yeah. get well, the gray. Well, at least you know what they got it out of the way. I really no, like it's the gray worm oh, it comes as a back. Character, it comes back. He's like too skinny for being on to be an unsullied, in my opinion. Well, I think they cut his balls off he's before he hit like puberty. Buff. So he couldn't even uh, get the testosterone to bulk the up. The other ones are buff. All right. So episode starts. You see Barristan. He's dead. Grey Worm's dead. Daenerys is mourning. Uh, not dead. I mean, he might as he's, well be. He's, he's dead half to dead. Me <laughs> because I can't. It's so dumb. It's pointless. Yeah. At, like when Grey Worm was introduced, I was like, oh, that's a pretty cool character. And then they started doing him and Missandre stuff. I was like, Sandy. Oh, Sandy. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. And then I stopped caring, and now I just think, oh, just why? And the, the line he had was just like, I wasn't afraid. It seemed like it was written by a I was afraid I'd never see Miss Andy ever again. <laughs> Is that because he has the mind of a 13-year-old? Or? I don't know. Yeah, I, think, I think a man's mind stops developing as soon as his balls are cut off. <laughs> so some of the Unsullied have the brain of an 8-year-old. Just stops there. There's a line from the balls right to the brain, right to the cerebellum. <laughs> it's once like you, just a giant ripped guy with an eight-year-old brain. Once in you him. once you cut that, it's over. Game over, man. Any thoughts on Grey Worm, guys? Or I just said <laughs> he's not buff enough. It's making me nervous with this sword. He's not buffing. That's the main complaint. He needs to be buffer. He's not eating enough protein. You... Oh, so anyway, then Daenerys is uh, mourning over. Uh, I mean, basically, what well, we just talked about the the Grey Worm thing. He wakes up, Miss Andy's there. He's like, "Oh, I was afraid they'd never see you again." And then they kiss, <laughs> and then it's like, does Grey Worm even get pleasure out of this? And then I was just like, I was honestly thinking, like, does he get any pleasure, any sexual pleasure at all, or does it? Is he like tormented by sexual pleasure? I don't think he understands uh, what it really is. Would he even yet yeah, know what it would be? I don't think any of them do. They just the contact of another human being. Or so anyway, it's just like he craves her companionship. Yeah, and then but anyway. both of them just seemed so. I understand him being dull, but she even seems like Bleh. yeah. It's just pointless to me. Yeah, and then uh, Daenerys is um, mourning over Sir Barristan, and then what's the guy's name who's uh, like on her kind of small council? His, and he's, his burger, his burger, his burger, his yeah. burger. <laughs> His burger. Something with an H and a Z, I know. Close enough. His burger. I'm yeah. going with his burger. Basically, there are eight of the most powerful families. She yeah. rounds them all up. And, and he's, well, yeah, he's there, and he's like, oh, I'm really sorry. And then she, uh, she's like, oh, he counseled Mercy. Barristan counseled Mercy right up until that was, you know, his dying day. And uh, fuck that now. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's like, round up the heads of the eight families. And then the guy's like, but... The, I'm one of them. I'm the third most powerful. But I'm the head of my family. Roll, roll. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, then they go down to the dragon's chambers, mm-hmm. and uh, you can hear them, their chains clinking and clanging as they, they unsullied push these guys forward towards the dragons. And that was a cool shot when it's just darkness, and you can see the glow of the yeah. eyes right before the fire spits out at one of the guys. And then they just rip him in half, and you see his guts fly off. Yeah, that yeah. was nuts. Fly out. Uh, CGI they looks like their really food good. well done. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, the dragons look awesome. And the guy, what's the guy's name? Uh, Darrow Naharis, right? Dario? Dario Naharis, yeah. He was, like, looking at the dragon, he was like, 
Whoa. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Later, uh, Miss Sandy or whatever is talking to Daenerys, and she Daenerys wants her to counsel her because basically her counsel is yeah. fucking dead. Yeah. <laughs> Though, like, the one guy she totally trusted. And Miss and then... Sandy's like, uh, I don't do that. I don't counsel. Just think about what the other guy would say. Yeah, yeah put no, that's basically, basically the cow's In my culture, we eat the brains of oh, our friends. I'm going, to to, I'm going to finger a eunuch it later. Is, it is known, Khaleesi. <laughs> she basically said you... For the love of God, it is known. You listened to her counsel, but you made your own decision sometimes. So that's what she did, and then she decided to marry the guy. Yeah, she'll, she'll open the fighting pits. She basically is like, you know what? You were right. I was wrong. To un- unite this city, we're going to open up the fighting pits, and then I'm going to like marry one of the these prominent family members, uh, or a member of these prominent families. Guess what? It's you. He's mm-hmm. already on his knees. He's already mm-hmm. on his knees. Suitors we were talking about before, knees. though. God, the poor guy, the adrenaline... Rushes that no, guy's had. The emotional roller coaster. Yes, yes, exactly. Oh, I'm gonna die to a dragon. Oh, I'm gonna fuck a princess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what? Now I'm a king. Uh, wow. What's going on? This is quite a twist. Uh, he also says Valor Morghulis in one part, trying yeah. to show like. Uh, and then she's know? like, "Oh, I thought you were ready to die." Like, no, I was just saying that so I would look cool. <laughs> Some, something I heard a guy say in the street <laughs> once. I don't even know what I was saying. Yeah. Oh, there was a fucking pants. dragon is eating just, a guy. Is that just something people say, or I thought that he was somehow linked to? Yeah, the, no, it's uh, like an expression. It's, an expression. it's like an expression. Sorry, I got thrown off when he said that. I was like, "What?" If he had the coin <laughs> and he said it, yeah. whole other story. Okay. Yeah. Daenerys know. would have been like, "Whoa!" And she, yeah, she teleports him to Bravos <laughs> like immediately. She she looks at him, her eyes glow like Raiden from <laughs> Mortal Kombat, and he disappears. Then it's like a Star Trek effect. <laughs> <laughs> And that's pretty much Daenerys, right? Um, yeah. Odds are uh, we're going to remember more stuff as we Yeah, stuff may come up. And then uh, and then there's some Winterfell scenes that are really good. Yeah, well, first let's trounce on over to the wall. I mean, uh, that's what I meant, the wall. Oh, once again, got to cut that out. Man, another Dexter comment we got to cut out. <laughs> Guys, you know how many weddings I've been to? <laughs> uh, sometimes I dance to the Macarena. <laughs> on the life of the party. Wow, I'm so good at it. So, uh, Maester Aaron? Eamon. Eamon. <laughs> Sorry, man. Maester Aaron. Maester Eamon. Now, one thing I remember, or that I read, was that the, these words that he's giving to John, mm-hmm. he once said this to uh, a Targaryen back in the day. Oh, okay. Not Rhaegar. It might have been Rhaegar's brother. The kill the boy stuff? Yeah, the oh. kill the boy. <laughs> and when he said kill the boy to yes. Jon Snow, I thought he meant Ollie. Yeah. Kill Ollie. I thought and just... then, because Jon Snow's face was, like, confused. Uh. So I was like, <laughs> uh, but he's a kid. And then I was like, oh, become a man. And Jon's here. He's asking for, like, guidance. For, like, I have something I need to tell the men. I don't think they're going to like it. Half of them are going to hate me right away. Yeah, can I tell you what it is? He's like, no, it doesn't matter. You got to do... You gotta kill the boy. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta kill Ollie. It's funny, he's just yeah. re- recycling his advice to everybody he meets. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm they... going shopping, Master Amy. What do you need from the market? Kill, kill the, the boy! boy. <laughs> kill, kill the boy! Come a man! <laughs> Half the people hate you already! <laughs> okay, I'll get you some right. onions. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So, you want provolone and uh, salami, or... Give me freezing old man brand popsicles. I prefer the boar's head. Here. All right. So John now is going. You see, starting to see the hints of this plan he's got. Goes to Tormund. Tormund's still in cuffs. John's like, look. <laughs> Tormund's in handcuffs. <laughs> bad wildlings. Bad wildlings. Book him. What That's what he does when he comes. When they bring the. They catch the wildlings. <laughs> and they bring Tormund up to Jon Snow. And he just. He stares at him for a moment. Then he turns to his left and goes to Sam. Book him. <laughs> John wants the wildlings to be safe, and he's, uh... Well, some... he wants men. He wants to fight, because he, he knows what's coming. Winter is yeah. coming. John there's an army of the dead marching towards them. Would be the yeah. best leader for the wildlings. And they're just going to turn into whites anyway if he doesn't join Yeah, them. like, we're Right, screwed. it makes sense, because it's like, look, either yeah. let them in, they're going to fight for us. We have to change our mindset the way that, you know... It's but you know it's like almost impossible because this has been the mindset for thousands of years. Yeah. It's like ingrained in their being. 
Uh, mm-hmm. This is their way of life. But it makes sense because it's either let them in, they're on our side, or it's going to be thousands more that we're just going to have to fight. And the only way that we know how to fight the walkers at this point is with the dragon glass. I thought that when he was going to take the shackles off of Tormund, even before he took the shackles off of Tormund, I thought Tormund was just going to fucking kill him. <laughs> I honestly, I was like, it could go either way here. Yeah, his I thought hand... he was going to strangle him with the chains, or after you took him off, just strangle him with his hand. See, with Tormund's... <laughs> I was very, like, ready for it's, that. His hand is either immediately going to his neck, Jon Snow's neck, <laughs> or they're going to, like, Because look at his stare. Look at <laughs> no, this do death that. stare. <laughs> like, they start thumb wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you what a wild One, two, do. three, four, I declare a thumb war. I would not wall. unshackle that guy. Well, he's not dumb. He knows... If he kills John right there, everyone's going to know, oh, obviously I killed him. But also he's here and, like, this is my chance. I guess he's making the point, like, yeah, we saved these people, but... <laughs> I don't think he cares. I think he would have just he has two, choked him to death. He has two stipulations. First, I need a lot of ships. And, and he's you like, got to come with me. And you got to come with me. And John's like, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll give you Stannis of ships. So right after this scene, you have that big uh, meeting with everyone mm-hmm. in the room. Jon Snow is like, you Those know, are very right. entertaining, by the way. I love how, like... When they say, "Don't you remember uh, what were those guys who, who were killed by the wildlings?" A Grim and uh, a Grim and, Grimm Pip? and one of them was like, "Oh yeah, Grim, Grim, oh, yeah, yeah, Grim. Oh yeah, that guy. Oh yeah, <laughs> forgot about him. Who? I remember him. I didn't like him. <laughs> <laughs> he slept with my wife. <laughs> and then we were bunk mates here at the wall. And so John." He spells it out. He just logically explains, look, this needs to get done because we're all screwed if we don't do it. Stannis sees it, even though he's adamantly against it, but he's like... <laughs> Stannis is just in the back correcting people's grammar. Oh, yeah. He was, I was, was like, that? oh, that means there'll be lesser of them. Fewer. Fewer. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> and then Davos is like, what? And he goes, nah, nothing. <laughs> Nobody cares about You're grammar. not going to understand. <laughs> can barely read. He's a stickler for grammar. I'm being undermined by my own disciples. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fewer. What? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I can't tell him that. He'll think I'm a nerd. <laughs> can't have this guy on your night thinking I'm a nerd. <laughs> I think he already thinks that. <laughs> <laughs> so my Lord King Stannis is a nerd. Oh, and Ollie doesn't like this decision either that right. uh, Jon Snow is making. <laughs> Yeah, I could care less about Ollie's opinion. I would have smacked him if I was John. You know what's really interesting? Like, listen, kid, when you get older, you understand. Boom. <laughs> have one of these. Yeah. Crack. Ollie doesn't really openly say. Bad Ollie. He just has, has like, a word you that kind of. You can tell that he does not agree at yeah, all. Yeah, but he's so obvious. He's like, can I, he's basically like, can I go now? Dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he saw what happened to Jano Slint, and, you know, John will definitely do that to a kid in front of everybody. Oh, he should. <laughs> yeah. Guaranteed. Um, well, one thing that I thought was interesting, because in the, um, the previously, you know, on Game of Thrones section where they're showing you the clips about what happened, and you see, um, you know, what happened to Ollie's parents, and, uh, his, like, father's get, takes an arrow from Egret in the back of the head, hmm. and there's a shot of Egret where she's, like, it's the, almost the exact same shot of Ollie yeah. looking at Jon Snow after he kills Egret, only she doesn't nod at him. The only right. thing missing was the nod. It was like the same exact shot. I thought that was interesting. Well, Egret really had no one to nod to. <laughs> she should have nodded at him. <laughs> <Not to help. laughs> that would have been awesome. Saved you from and your then, dad. And then there's like shots of... And then when Jon Snow... There's so many shots where people could have just not... Like, Ollie is taking a cue of like what you do after you kill someone with an arrow. <laughs> right. It was just hilarious to me. But he did not like Jon Snow's position on this at all. No, he didn't. Oh, yeah. Then there was... Uh, and then it was a very small scene with, um, but an important scene. Winterfell with yeah. Brienne and Pod. Yeah. I thought Pod, the way he walked, was Sad. really funny. No, I thought he kind of <laughs> had like this kind of confidence, like, yeah, I have a big dick. <laughs> That's all he's ever He been. walked with the confidence that a man with a, with a 12-foot dick would walk 12 with. 12 foot. I think I meant inches, but... <laughs> For all I know, it's twelve feet. I don't think right. that man can walk. It's like it's like yeah. a it's like a Saiyan tail. He wraps it around his waist, his waist and ties it off in a bow. I don't think I don't think a man with a twelve foot right. dick could walk. Brienne is still here with uh, a. <laughs> she swore an oath to Sansa to Cat, so she doesn't want to leave Winterfell yet. This guy comes in. I swore an oath to cats. I guess this guy's like a. Uh, He's just some Northman grunt. A pot yeah. delivery guy? <laughs> no, he's the... Uh, he here's your, here's he, your turlet. Changes the chamber pots, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm here with your commode. You always shovel shit. <laughs> so, <do laughs> the way he turns around, it. he's like... 
He what turns the around. Fuck did you say to me? He turns around like, "Am I supposed to remember this guy?" And I was like, "No." <laughs> guy, oh, I thought you meant he's thinking that of Brienne. <laughs> Am I no. supposed to know this guy? The North remembers. Basically, the North remembers. This guy doesn't really trust Brienne for a while until she starts talking about Cad and the North and the Starks and the Oath. And so Sansa's in her room, and this old lady comes in. The one who said the North remembers. She comes in right again and says, "If you're ever in trouble, go to the tower." Light a candle. Yeah, that's the tower where Bran fell off, right? I mean, you might be right. I think it is. And uh, that, and the same tower Cersei and Jamie were getting Fucking on. Um, for the first time. So I think when later on we see Sansa looking up at the tower at the window, I think she had got just been up there. She put the candle just to have it there in case she needs it. Yeah. And that's when uh, Creepy Girl comes up. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, so then <laughs> you... seen with her and Ramsay was before that. Yeah, this one. So yeah. we finally see Ramsay's ass... That's what Finally, <laughs> that's yeah, what we have have we, haven't we seen it I'm already? Sure, we have. We have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think Oxnard would remember that. <laughs> Finally, he keeps saying every week. He's like, "When are we going to see Ramsay's ass?" Was, remember when they the uh, Greyjoys attacked the castle? He was basically like naked when that happened. Oh, when Asha showed oh, up. Oh, yeah. He was. Ba- he was. He was fighting naked, yeah. wasn't he? Right. And then he like kind sliced his about chest that. with his swords. But this girl is, uh, we were, and we were talking about this before. Like, She's the daughter. His crazy like whores were going to get pissed off, yeah. um, you know, and jealous of Sansa, and that mm-hmm. they were going to be the ones that were a problem more so than Ramsay for her. And uh, we kind of get a glimpse of that here. Yeah, she's the uh, the Houndmaster's daughter, and he's been banging her. Now the thing and, is, uh, like, she's like, I don't like it. Do you think she did that? Basically, what's gonna what happens later? Is Sansa finds Tyr- uh Theon. In one of the little because of her, because of her. But do you think she did that on her own, or because Ramsay, because of what we, what happens later on, told told her to do that? No, I don't think he told her to do that. Are you sure? Because I think they would have just had him do that. Yeah, but I think they wanted no, I think in the she show. Did it I think she did it because she wanted she to, wanted yeah. her to hate him or something. She she was trying to get at Sansa. I think. No, I think right. she doesn't want him to like her. I mean, I mean, her to like him. My theory is that so she's like, let me show him what he did to Theon. But yeah. She, yeah, no, no, but no. she knows that Theon, but everyone thinks that Theon killed her brothers, killed Bran and Rickon. My theory is that Ramsay told this girl, go to Sansa, bring her to the thing, show her Theon. Because later on when Theon's like, well, he immediately knows, like, you got to tell me, Theon, what happened. He knows what happened. Yeah. And then he plays, he goes, he does but a I weird thought, thing. See, I thought that was because Sansa ended up saying something. No, because that scene That happens. was my assumption. And uh, he asked Theon to, like, you know, kneel. Yeah. And it's like something sexual about to happen. I here. seriously <laughs> thought he was going to be like, Neil, swallow my dick. <laughs> Are you kidding swallow. me? I thought he was going to like snap his finger. Well, I it's, th- that's fl- what I thought was going to happen. I thought he was going to. Fl- I was, I was like covering my ears and squinting because I didn't want to hear it or really see it. I just wanted to know what happened. I thought he was going to flay it. Not no. I thought he was going to take uh, a finger and just wrench it some ooh. way. Yeah, well, yeah. For me, he would have done that if he hadn't have told the girl. To do that because I think he's setting up this whole thing. He's trying to play all these people against each other uh, and make one person think this. Make him pers- look like a good guy because also Not he's like, good... see, I've punished Theon. Yeah, I punished Theon yeah. and it was an accident that that happened or something like that. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. But and- Theon was and Theon was so close to coming out in that scene and saying it's not your brothers i didn't kill your brothers yeah. i that's how i felt about it anyway i thought he was like this close to just saying that wasn't bran and rickon ramsey doesn't even know that right no nobody knows that no only theon. I, okay. i'm pretty sure no, everyone thinks that they're dead except but for theon did go out and kill two little kids right yeah th- those are villagers yeah uh, like look but they're not they're not bran right. and rickon right and i don't know what the fuck is going on with bran <laughs> He hasn't even been mentioned yeah, yeah. once. He might that, as well be dead. I thought that was funny when you guys mentioned him after I watched the first four, and I couldn't say anything. I was like, I haven't seen him yet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Still haven't seen him. Yeah, but. Jesus. That was one of the most awkward family dinners I've ever seen. <laughs> Why? How about Walder Frey? <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's just like that at my house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm offended. Your dad's your dad's uh, remarried to a uh, uh, a really fat woman Excuse who's 20 me. years his junior. She is a full boned woman. She's a saint. Full boned. Full boned. Okay, so that scene. Yeah, Walda Frey. That's a lot of that's a lot of woman. Ramsey. He keeps bringing this up. Uh, yeah, I guess so. And uh, she's pregnant. Keep bringing it up twice <laughs> within I, seconds. I'm trying to Ramsey. Did he say Walda Frey. Walda. Walda. Oh, Walda. 
It's Walter Frey in a wig. Yeah, Walter Frey, she's a fucking fat ass, right? <laughs> He's obsessed with her. This is the only way I can pull this. It's Walter Frey in a wig. Yeah. I see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So let's pretend. This is the only way I was able to get fucked by Roose Bolton. <laughs> I, I made, a, I made a move. He really doesn't realize. I made a move after the Red Wedding, but he wasn't having any of it. <laughs> he wasn't picking up on the hints I was dropping. What? I have a theory about Roos. Um, I think he's going to kill uh, um, Ramsey. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I forget what made me think that, but... Um, because what, what happens is... When he, uh, when they're at this awkward family dinner, and I know we're jumping all over the place, but whatever, uh, he, uh, uh, Roose Bolton, they reveal the good news that uh, she's pregnant, and uh, the way she walks, Ramsey's makes her believe face. he is a boy. <laughs> yeah, that's science. Like an, old, an old medieval <laughs> way of the phrenology of her skull tells me that. Yeah, well, she has uh, quite a callus on her left toe. <laughs> she has so gouts, that tells me uh, it's a boy. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, so they're like, oh, good news, uh, my wife's pregnant, and Ramsey's goes, like, white as a sheet, and you can tell he's fucking pissed off, and then there's another scene where he's, like, uh, questioning and, like, quizzing Roos, uh, and I was telling about, you before, like, well, what does this mean, and then he basically comes out, and it's like, oh, you're, you know, like, he, he knows that he's worried about what he, that means for his position, then. You know, and I was saying that scene between Ramsey and uh, Roose Bolton. I was telling you before we started recording, it was like the juxtaposition between Stannis and his daughter. Yeah, like a father and child talking. Oh man, like yeah, the Roose one is so dark. Like because he goes like, uh, you know, when when I, I raped your mother yeah. 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 Raped under her ha- hung under her hung husband. husbands. Yeah. yeah, holy shit. And she came to me a year later with this baby. I, I'm surprised I didn't have... Uh, I didn't have, have her. I almost had her whipped and the whipped. and the babe thrown in the river. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was... Because you forget, because he's so... Like, he's so cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he doesn't... He's so emotionless. Yeah, no, you know the show I mean? made me forget how, how horrible a person he was in the He's really books. just as bad as Ramsey. He's just not as animated yeah. about yeah, it. Yeah, I think you know that what I mean? whole story he told made me think that he's just playing Ramsey and he's just gonna fucking kill him. That's what I well, think. Well, because I think in the... And he's I know we've talked about him. it before, about when we've talked about, like, the insanity of Ramsey, that Ramsey had... Uh, this is not the f- first time that Roos has tried to have other children. Yeah. Uh, but Ramsey had always, you know, bumped them off. I don't know if that's how they've played it out in the book. This might... I mean, in the show, this might be the first time that that's happened. So we may have think, already spoiled stuff, but... No, uh, no, I think it was mentioned once a few Oh, seasons, okay, was it? Like a season, yeah. last season. Uh, so, you know, so now R- Ramsey's obviously, like, he's finally a Bolton. He's getting set up uh, with for Sansa, you know, for the marriage, and he's gonna be—he's the warden of the North. They're mm-hmm. in Winterfell; it's theirs. They're getting ready um, now to fight off Stannis. They know he's gonna be coming down from the Wall because the road to King's Landing goes through Winterfell. So, do they mention anything about Ramsay marching? Anywhere well, they yet? meant no. no they just yet? mention okay. that they're uh, la- like basically they have this kind of fight, this argument. Um, but Roose tells the story about how. You know, look, you have nothing to worry about because I could have killed you years ago. Yeah. <laughs> After I raped your mother. You're the product <laughs> of rape, but I knew you were my son and I saw potential. Mm. And that, you know, kind of puts Ramsey at ease a little bit because then they start going right into, now I need you. Are you going to help me fight uh, Stannis off here? Right. You know what I mean? Or, or not. And then, Stan, you know, Ramsey's like all in, it seems like. So, uh, or, but he could be. Okay. Still plotting something. Yeah, I, I wasn't don't know. sure there was a line I missed. That's the thing, like with the books, then I, I'm afraid I'm always going to say something that's ahead of what's going to happen. What I'm loving now about this this season in particular is that I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know, uh, but there's so still for like the first time I feel like I really don't know what the, what's going to happen. Yeah, but yeah the, there's still familiar things, but they could also be setting it up for people who have read the book and it goes like, oh, they're not going to do this in the book, and then they blindside you and they do do it. They just went. To do it a different way. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. But right. still, I, I like that. I like it too. Yeah, it's good. How stupid is Sansa to just blindly go into the kennels? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Creepy girl. I didn't know what was going to happen in there. I thought maybe she was going to find like a, a mutant dog or I, something. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought it was going to be like somehow it was going to be like your direwolf lady is back. <laughs> yeah, like or like, something like that. <laughs> Not. I was just like, this girl's so creepy when yeah. she first comes up to you. It's like, oh, your mother made this dress. That's nice. It's the way you she always She taught you something. Uh, Sansa is a horrible conversationalist. <laughs> <He> goes, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I made it. 
Whatever. <laughs> uh, okay, would you mind just walking into this dark tunnel where rabid dogs apparently are barking? Sure, weird yeah. girl I don't <laughs> trust. <laughs> yeah. I was just, that scene, I was just like, this is stupid. Yeah, it also, was really dumb. Well, it's okay. She put her at ease because she's like, you have nothing to fear, she she's says to her. She's most naive. And it's like, what are you girl fucking kidding me? Fell. I thought she was getting smarter with yeah, all the Yeah, I thought little... that's what so they were... Yeah. Maybe Littlefinger has an aura around certain people, <laughs> yeah. and they get smarter. Now that he's away, yes. he's like... Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, forget, I forget how to carry on talking with those and... Stop me answering. smart. <laughs> me go down hallway. Make dress now. Reminds dead mother. Me. <laughs> um, I'm Sansa. Then Littlefinger shows up and instantly everyone's IQ shoots up 60 points. <laughs> Hello, Sansa. Aura of intelligence. You should you should not go down the tunnel <laughs> to I, see what's in the cage I mean, at the end of the cage. Don't go into the creepy kennel. Don't Pitch. go. Don't see what's down at you the end of the kennel. this fucking mentally challenged rabbit <laughs> yeah. knows not to do that. <laughs> Are you dumb? He's going to come back at the end and be like, you married Ramsay? <laughs> <laughs> and she's going to be like, what, what the, but you, you what, said that. What what the, the, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, you say that in front of the guys and you see me winking nonstop. Yeah. You're supposed to stab him. I said, remember, you're stronger than you look. And then I kissed you. That's the code. <laughs> we Don't do up. it. <laughs> Faith and Vigora. <laughs> I'm going back to Ireland. Hi, caramba! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I like that uh, Roos Bolton the entire time of that dinner. Everyone's like, um, when Theon has to apologize, right. and I'm, I was surprised that he really wasn't just like flat out like begging for her forgiveness because of all the torture that Ramsay has put him through. But because it was because he was like he was apologizing, and he part of him wanted to say right there. That it, you know, it's not them; they're still right. alive. But uh, but there was such a tension, and then as soon as Ramsey's like, "Good," you can see Roose Bolton's like, <sighs> "Yeah," <and> he's <laughs> like, because like, he's like, "I don't want to deal with this now." Yeah, and he's like, "You made quite a spectacle of yourself at dinner." Yeah, something. yeah, it was hilarious. <laughs> Do we mention he's giving her away at the, ma- the wedding? Oh, Yo, that's yeah! right. That's right. Oh, fuck! Good call. Yeah. Oh my god. That's why we need notes. Theon, <laughs> yeah, so now Theon will be giving Sansa away at her wedding. She doesn't care for that. Because mm, he's the closest living thing she has to any sort of kin. And she's also basically like insulting them to their faces because she's like, uh, because Walda Frey was just trying to make polite conversation. She's obviously clueless. Yeah. Well, now that he doesn't have a dick, he can be the bridesmaid. Boom! Bridesmaids 2. Horrifying edition. <laughs> 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 you never saw this coming. <laughs> Oh, Bridesmaids 2, the snuff film. <laughs> but yeah, that was hilarious, like, the, the tension there. And Oh, but she insults him. Like, she's like, oh, the people, uh, this is my home, bitch. She's mm-hmm. like, what are you, stupid? I'm from here. It's the people that is strange. Mm-hmm. That's basically how she came off. And he's like, yeah, you're right. They are strange. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a familiar <laughs> face. <laughs> I've got a surprise for you. Theon Greyjoy, come on now! <laughs> no! No! Are you serious? Fast forwarding to the wall. Gilly and Sam, he's in the library and she's asking, you know, are these all the books in the world? And he's like, <laughs> no. And she uh... says, like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't really know things. And he's like, oh, you know, tons of stuff. And starts listing all the qualities of a maid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get the stains out of my underpants. Oh, the other interesting thing he was saying, like, the biggest library is the biggest one. The Citadel. In the Citadel. Where That's train, down south, the, Where right? they train the maesters. Yeah, I, I thought it was in King's Landing. I'm probably wrong. No, King's Landing has a big one, but the biggest one is at the Citadel. Okay. Uh, Stannis barges in, drunk. No. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Starts, that would be starts hitting insane. on Gilly. <laughs> you're, you're gonna be my new red woman. Let's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> my new red woman. Put his wig on. He cuts her up. He starts bleeding. Uh, he's kind of surprised to see who Samuel Tarley is. <laughs> he's like, whoa. He goes, you are fat. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's heard Samuel, not Samuel, just Sam. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sam is the one who killed a white. And he did all these other things, and he's like, huh, you sure? How'd you do that? Uh, with dragon glass, obsidian. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And doesn't he say, like, yeah, we have a tons of that dragon stone? Yeah, I think it's basically uh, Yeah, we have glass. it at Dragonstone, yeah. The and, then, and then he's like, uh, but that's the only thing. like a reference to dragon? No. Dragon, yeah, Dragonstone was made by 
it was the last settlement of the Vali- uh the children of the first men. No, 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 oh, no, 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 the Valyrians. Yeah, another and word that's where Rhaegar mounted his attack with the dragons. Right, so right. Is dragon so another word for obsidian. Yeah, but I'm just saying, the dragon glasses. They're, they're all talking about this massive dragon glasses. Dragon stone is the where the castle is that Stannis yeah. was from. But the thing I'm saying is, they have a, all this dragon glass. A dragon stone. Why isn't Stannis going? Okay, let's send a ship there and get as much dragon glass as possible. Well, he's still like because there's still an uncertainty about everything. I think because he Sam says like, oh, I've been reading, trying to figure out like exactly what's going on here, and then Stannis says, keep reading. Like you, we need to know more. Keep reading to try and figure out why it kills whites, or I guess if it's true that it kills. I mean, whites. I think. You know what it is? I don't... Yeah, but, you know, Stannis just isn't as... He's, like, mildly concerned, I think, obviously, because yeah, he really he's, like, it, he's think. curious to know okay. about it, but then his... Like, in the forefront of his mind he's is... Going south, he yeah. has to go south. Yeah. You know? He can't concern himself too much with what's going on in the North, and he's like, all right. I think he... Also, I think it's more of, I'm leaving this situation in capable hands. He has to delegate these things. Um, so I think he feels confident that, all right, this guy can handle it. And also, he, he tells the story about how I knew your father, Randall Tarley. Sam is like, oh, yeah, great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but guy. he's telling the story about how he was the only defeat... Uh, the person to defeat his brother Robert right. um, and like what a good soldier he was and then he listens to Sam and he can clearly see that he has a good head on his shoulders so I think he's saying to himself alright they're gonna have to handle this I think they can I have to go south and cause then he the next scene is Stan is talking to Davos and it's like he's we, whittling the time is now he's like he's looking out the window the snow's coming in like winter's gonna be here any second what was uh, Davos whittling there well I don't know I didn't see he was like whittling a toy horse Oh, he's probably whittling a toy for the girl. Oh, probably. Yeah, right here, he's making. Oh, a... yes, he is. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think he was making something for the daughter, for gives... Stannis's daughter. Yeah, what's her name? I always forget. I can't fucking remember. Big shock there. Uh, Grayscalio. Grayscalia. Grayscalia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's time. Okay. It's time. The other thing I was gonna say is like I always find it funny how so Robert Baratheon the drunk. Stannis, this guy, and Renly were all brothers. Robert Renly the drunk, Renly the gay, <laughs> Stannis the stick up the ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, I forget it because... It's pretty hilarious. It is because... They're they very really... different personalities. Yeah, they don't really look related except for dark hair, but... Stan- I Stan- I love Stannis in this episode, though. I feel yeah, like in this really season, good. you're like, Stannis is the man, mm-hmm. you know? You really start to pull for him. Different. And then uh, Davos comes out. And he's gay. he shares a look with the red woman. That's right. <laughs> Davos comes out and he's gay. <laughs> I'm coming out, my lord. My lord, I have something to tell you. Davos's beard is uh, awesome. Yeah, it's hard for him to sing. All right, Davos is saying goodbye to the little grayscale girl. I'm assuming he gives her a little toy. <laughs> I don't know well, why I'm obsessed with this. I don't know. I didn't really think much of it, but he's basically giving her like a pep talk. And then, uh, like, everything's going to be great. Don't worry about it. And then, uh, like, talking back. about battles and everything. And then the Creep- creepy wife. Creepy mom shows Who's up. also a jerk and clearly hates her daughter. Yeah. Resents her. But I was going to say, they, these those two actresses do look related. Oh, yeah. I believe that they're, good, uh, yeah. yeah. John and Stannis have some final words. Bon voyage. <laughs> good luck. Who's in charge when Jon Snow's away? Second in command. Gilly. Is that, um... <laughs> Gilly. <laughs> is that Alistair Thorne? Yeah, isn't he like uh, the first well, one? Well, he's right? first ranger. First rangers are the guys who head out, right? Yeah, but uh, well, I what wonder... What are they really doing anyway? Nobody needs to be in charge. Just well, that's why they out. have ravens. That's why they just send back word, like you get a raven Yeah, but sense. somebody's got to, like, take charge here. Maybe well, it's like... Ollie. <laughs> he's been training all <laughs> yeah, this time. Right. Nodding. He's been nodding his head off, practically. John says goodbye to another hot redhead. He's like, I felt your tit. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice the whole time. <laughs> I had a boner the whole time. He's then, like, there uh, goes another one I could have banged. Mm-hmm. Now, finally, uh, we see the scale of this army, how big they are marching off into the distance. Yeah. It's pretty big. Boss, what do you think? Big battles ahead? Mm. I want to talk about the stone men. Okay, we'll get <laughs> okay. there. I think that's next. No opinion about the battles ahead. Well, let's just move right along. Jano, uh, Janos. Uh, Jorah, Jorah. Mormont. Hold on, let's just make sure that's the next scene. Yeah, I think it is. I like ending on the last parts. 
Oh, we already talked about this horse shit. <laughs> I was afraid I would not see. Mr. Barriston, I failed him. I was afraid I'd never see the pretty Miss Andy again. <laughs> Miss pretty. Shut the fuck up. She just starts fingering him. Let me put my thumb up your butt. Fingering his stump. <laughs> oh, his butt. <laughs> stump. <laughs> Touch my stump. Ugh. What was he doing? He's going like this. Flick my stump. <laughs> I want you to flick me. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, now best part of the episode. Oh yeah! Wow, this was fucking awesome. This Tyrion whole thing. and Jorah, what they gonna do? Sailing that ocean, that ocean blue. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tyrion's getting the shakes because he needs to drink. I know he needs a drink. <laughs> He's basically like, look, I am an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Alcoholics need to drink or they become <laughs> sick. <laughs> See, they don't have the word for alcoholic yet. No, they call he's just drunks. like, I'm a drinker. I'm a drinker. What does he say? Silence and an occasional punch to the face. <laughs> oh, okay. The Mormon way. Anyway, uh, Tyrion's talking about, you know, like, it, it's the same dynamic. Tyrion's, like, not getting anything out of Jorah Mormont. Um, and then now you realize, they both realize, like, in a chilling moment, they realize where they are. But Jorah, this was Jorah's plan. But yeah. it's still like kind of like an awe-inspiring scene where you yes. see like the ruins of old Valyria. There was a catastrophe that occurred in right. Valyria. The doom. I read about. Oh, I read on the, the wiki about old Valyria. So oh, dude, that oh, okay. was awesome. The uh, they start reciting the poem it was so cool. It's like a. It's like almost like a, uh, like um, oh, what's it, like the Mother Goose thing or whatever. It like was a like volcano. that kind of. I was gonna say Pompeii. <laughs> yeah. What? It was no, a I was like. Or something. Mother Goose. No, 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 I'm saying like the the fairy tale. Like everybody knew it was like a children's like oh, tale. Right, right. Like everybody, you know, like everybody knows this poem that they're talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, but no one knows exactly what happened there. They think yeah. it might have been a volcano. Yeah, Valeria. That's the place where dragons were from. That's uh, where the Targaryens came from. Was, was, yeah, yeah. Was made from. Uh, I saw this cool illustration, like a theory of how it was made. They had like a dragon breathing fire and ah. a blacksmith shop and that's like they imbued the swords with mad it looked really cool it's so much a uh, cool fan art that's awesome in, it's like a really the books, chilling i'm pretty eerie sure place. they go south of this and they're they? and they meet up with another few people mm. but that's all i'll say and also in the books what i remember is that even at night over this land was a constant red glow mm. and it looked like a red dawn all the time over it interesting yeah. it was a cool area i wonder where they filmed it or how it got so icy i mean smoggy <laughs> icy i mean Foggy. warm <laughs> now did you notice a cool thing about the stone men here yeah now as drogon flies over right. oh yeah, yeah in the that out of focus out no, of focus so cool. in the background even before that really you see tons of them they're all over the place oh apparently. i didn't notice that because i was focusing on the dragon Wait, the i only shot? saw the one i only saw the one that, lo- that jumps into the water they look like statues yeah that was the thing so that's why you didn't notice it i suppose it's it See them? You see the figures all along? They just look like statues. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I see. I couldn't tell. I couldn't now, tell. Uh, after they do this poem about the doom, you know, I think Jorah's impressed that Tyrion knew that. Yeah. Because yeah. remember in the first book, remember Tyrion used to say when he was a kid he loved dragons and stories yeah. of adventure? Tyrion is so hopeless that yeah. I think seeing the dragon kind of finally gives him, like, hope. Like That was, like, that scene gave me, when they see the dragon. It gives you goosebumps. It gives me goosebumps. Yeah. Because it's like yeah. that. It's a cool setting. Th- it's like, a setting. Their faces, the dragon, they're like, holy shit and then in the background you see the one the guy move out of focus and then jump off that was so fucking scary yeah it is creepy holy shit like what and they're like uh what the hell is going on and then it's just like this onslaught (laughs) and then jor goes stone men now (laughs) stone men and then completely took me out of the moment (laughs) how many people you think watching that were like Stone men. Stone men. What's next? A goblin? What is this? <laughs> fucking Lord of the Rings? Stone goblin men. Now I have a question about these stone men. I thought I thought the grayscale was like a, a um, fatal disease. No, well, I think what happens or is these... like they say uh, Gilly. They kind of set it up this way. I know when they Gilly, so they're that. saying that Gilly yeah that, that they become but... animals, which you see here when they're attacking Tyrion and Jorah. And then what happened was Craster took basically took them out back and shot them. Is that you know what I mean? Like he he dragged them out into the woods right. and killed them because Didn't he also... knew that they would become these like rage zombies made of rocks. Yeah. <laughs> I but thought it'd they're... be cool if they had a shot where he hits them with a sword and you see sparks because they're made of rocks or something. They're Pokemon. 
But the weird thing we is, we need a water Pokemon to counteract them. They're kind of like a little society because <laughs> they're with they're with each I other. I was also reading that. That's yeah, weird but they're not. To me. They're not like interacting with one another in the way that a society would. It's not like they have a. Well, parliament. they're not fighting each other. Is my point? They're collectively attacking them. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But don't I think in the book they don't they get exiled there? Just like kind of like there, and they're just like in horrible pain. I was reading and like shrieking that you get exiled there when you get grayscale. Well, and right. the, and in the book in the show, they said in the show. Stannis is yeah. talking to the girl, and he's like, Stannis is saying that oh, everyone told me I should just uh, right, kind okay, of, uh, ship you off to the ruins of Valyria yeah, with all yeah. the others. Yeah, so I have a feel- maybe it's fatal for some, but for others it just. Stays with you for years and years, yes. and then you die. Like, it's probably fatal, but maybe or it takes five years. it's essentially a death sentence, because the person you are is gone forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then it's either you have to kill this person, or you're going to get... If they touch you, you get it. It's and, all, and all they want to do is grab well, you. My theory is that they are a stone men society, and whenever <laughs> somebody comes around it doesn't have stone, whatever, grayscale, they convert them. And they Not bring to kill them, them into their just society. To hug them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you got it. Now Mark. you got it too, friend. No, if you think about it, it's like that's how the virus would act that's because the, the virus work. infects the host and creates these symptoms uh, so that the person goes insane and just feels compul- com- compelled to grab somebody so that they can spread the virus. Mm. So that's like, but that'd be funny if they have like a little court and it's like outsiders. Quick, we must convene. Everyone I act- vote we convert them. We will celebrate this at the stone feast tonight. And didn't they try <laughs> to make the it, stone? Didn't they try to make it seem like Tyrion could have died? Well, like, that because they fade the black extra long. No, because they did that because in the book that chapter that's how that chapter that's where ends. that chapter ends. Oh, and yeah. so then what I did, I don't even know you're supposed to do this. I just skipped ahead in the book to see <laughs> okay there is another Tyrion scene oh no because <laughs> I was like they, if they kill Tyrion I did the same thing I was like I'm not gonna read this if Tyrion's no, I gone I don't think they would kill Tyrion in the book that way though that's what I think I, my thought was at the time yeah I was like that's so unclear and then Jorah then anyway to Tyrion's firework. okay the, the, they're reveals... saying don't touch him and Tyrion's getting pulled down psoriasis he grabs the clothes yeah, a, little, a little dry skin Tyrion gets grabbed on the ankle but I guess it wasn't on bare skin. I assume, I I'm guess. assuming it has to be bare My skin. My theory is that Tyrion has it too, and he's hiding it. Maybe dwarves are immune. And then I had another theory, <laughs> and I had another theory that you see other scenes with like uh, Tyrion and uh, Jorah, where Jorah's making an effort not to touch Tyrion, but without you knowing it, Tyrion's actually making an effort not to touch Jorah. Because he has it so Just normally, they'd be all over each other. <laughs> normally. Uh, normally, you know... Like, Jorah, up into each why other. haven't you been making what out with me? You tell her to make it a conscious effort. <laughs> Something is wrong. It's been a week since I've seen that penis, Jorah. You know, I could really go for a hand job right about now. <laughs> Boss predictions. I just gave you one prediction. Tyrion has stone skin, or whatever that is. <laughs> Grayscale. <laughs> uh, other... He becomes the thing from the Fantastic Four. <laughs> It's clobbering time. I'm Stone Tyrion. skin. My other <laughs> prediction is that uh, um, Roos kills Ramsay. Okay. Roos kills Ramsay, or yeah. Ramsay kills Roos? No. Or Ramsay kills Roos Walda. Kills Ramsay. Uh, and there was another theory I had. Any characters you're starting to like? Oh, oh, oh! And I have this other theory that the dragon we saw wasn't Drogon. It was a fourth dragon. I don't necessarily believe my theory, but I really hope it's true. Oh, so you're <laughs> saying that there's actually other dragons that exist Maybe, yeah. separately of Daenerys. It would make so, sense. It would make sense of Valyria. Because Valyria, that's pretty far from Marine. Also, people don't really go there because it's like, are, don't you believe the stories about this place? And he's and Jorah, uh, Tyrion says to Jorah, because he's like, oh, this is dangerous. We shouldn't be doing this. And then Jorah's like, no, I don't believe the stories, but pirates do. So yeah. he's like purposely going through the ruins of Valyria to Safe. avoid people. You know right, what I mean? Right. Um, Are they, so so I, they're still in Valyria at that point, right? That is, that's the ruins old of old Valyria. Valyria. But like when they're on the beach there, that's just... Yeah, I know how they got to that beach? I it looks like a completely different place. But that's movie magic. <laughs> I hope it's still Valyria, and that they just start encountering like stone men in the X Files things, oh, yes. like magical weird yes. shit. Yes. Um, that it's like, be its it, own becomes, show. it becomes Predator. <laughs> no, because the land of the lost <laughs> on a routine expedition the through the, the re- shattered isles of Valyria, <laughs> attacked by 
Stone Man a hundred feet above <laughs> in the lands of the lost. One of the reasons I think that's a new... They befriend a Bigfoot. <laughs> that that's a fourth dragon is because I, for some reason, I expected Jorah to say Drogon under his breath. Oh, I don't know this he dragon. Looked at well, it. when's the last time he saw... Yeah, but I think he's more like... Sh- I think he's more looking like that, not because he doesn't recognize the dragon, but because it's massive. So big, yeah. Yeah, I guess that, too. But... And it'd be cool if that is another and dragon. And also, that's, an an awe and s- dragon that's just an awe-inspiring scene. Let me know also, what you guys think of fourth dragon that's a se- theory. That's a season five poster the background of our youtube videos that oh, yeah. comes from that scene you see oh Tyrion yeah looking out of the on boat. the boat yeah so that's um, supposed to be like a huge oh, holy also, shit. also i was thinking they were probably terrified because i'm sure at some part of their mind was going like uh is it going to attack us <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true because that's what my sack would have definitely shrunk <laughs> when i saw that thing flying overhead that's a good way to go Here's another question. Killed by a dragon? Sure. Do stone men yeah. breathe underwater? And that stone no, man was just hanging so. out at the bottom of the water. Did he sink? It's, Is he they're stone? Not, no, they're not actually stone. I know, but maybe he it's did. It's grayscale. He, he wasn't coming up to the top. He just ended up, he, I don't know. It was weird. It doesn't change your lungs. You're not going to grow gills. How do you know? I, from what I know, that's, I guess I can make <laughs> so that assumption. you a chapter about lungs now? <laughs> uh, I need to lungs? explain these stone men Ugh. to the readers. They're not really stone, but they maintain stone-like properties. <laughs> Are they heavier? George! <laughs> Stop thinking about stupid shit and write the book. <laughs> Concentrate George, on the book. I want a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? His wife. <laughs> Grizzly Adams. Who's that? His pizza Who's delivery that? guy. <laughs> Domino's. <laughs> it's me, Papa John's. <laughs> That's where he gets his, all, all his great creative thoughts from. Pizza guy, what do you think this character should do? <laughs> <laughs> the pizza guy's always stoned. Oh, man. Dragons oh. are cool. That's where it came from. Stone, stone man. Guy. What kind of creature could I come up with next? How much is that? Nine dollars. You know, I was thinking too. Like, you, what's wrong with you? I'm stoned, man. That's it. <laughs> Grayscale. <laughs> <laughs> Eureka. Woohoo. <laughs> the Atom. And then I was thinking too, like for names, like Ramsey. That's a no- he's from Bayonne, New Jersey. Ramsey is another town in New Jersey. So I wonder how many other names are just from New Jersey. <laughs> this is going to be a Jersey City character. Hey, wait a second. Ooh. We're from Jora Mormon's town. I'm from Mormonville. <laughs> wow. What are the odds? I never even noticed that. I thought you were going to say the actor for Ramsey is from Bayonne, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> wow, really? He does a good... He does a- Everyone in Bayonne sounds like that. <laughs> no, he- Ramsey is from Ramsey, New Jersey. <laughs> what are the odds? Final thoughts, Dexter? <laughs> uh, final thoughts? Good episode. Good episode. Iconic shot. Iconic moments. Making me excited to what's to come. I really like, like I said, I already said it before, but I really like that I don't, I really don't know where it's going. Since we're Anything bo- could happen. Both be- since we're both beginning to really like Stannis, are you getting nervous? Whenever you start to really like a character. No, you know I don't like him that much. Okay. I don't like him that much. Like, if Stannis was killed off suddenly, I would be like, Oh, okay. I mean, I would be. It would be surprising, but I wouldn't be freaking out. I want him to die because I want the uh, whites to win. <laughs> okay, we got one vote for the whites. When are we going to see Bran? That's what I want to know. I think it's going to be the season finale. Well, I'm excited about Hard Home. What's Please Hard ex- Home? What's that? Now it's called the place that. Uh, what's his face is going to? Um, uh, <laughs> what's his face is going to Hard Home? <laughs> yeah, what, his name. I have uh, no idea what you're talking about. Uh, what does he look like? What does he do? Jon Snow. Is he's hard home? Isn't that what he calls it? The wildling guy? No, they're going to this point up above the wall where there's a port. Hearth something. Hearthstone. Hearthstone. (laughs) Mm. I'm building a deck. Real quick. I don't think it's hard home. (laughs) I can't remember what. That's what he said. All right. That's where the wildlings are. That's didn't you listen to their meeting? No, I did. Okay. I forgot the name. Didn't you listen? I thought oh, they were sorry, going to. A, I everything. thought he needed to bring the wildlings uh, to the east, and then they were going to pick them up at a place. Don't they go? To, that aren't was a they like name. on their way to East Watch by the Sea or something? That happens in the book, doesn't it? Yeah, there is like an expedition to go, and they send ships out. Yeah, there's tons of little fucking islands out there, and I lose track. Okay, it's hard home. Wow, I never knew that that was the name. I did not realize that's what they said. Where is it? Oh yeah, hard home. Hard home. Hard home. Whoa. <laughs> the hardest home. Oh, what was the prediction, though? In the Seven Kingdoms. You said they're going to hard home. Oh, I just think it's going to be cool when they go there. I like, oh, okay. <laughs> I like beyond the wall stuff. It's going to be hard. Right, right. 
and Homie. home. <laughs> Hardy uh, home. We haven't seen a town beyond the wall. Yeah, we have. No, we haven't. We saw a camp, and we saw that yeah. Craster's Keep. Well, we, well, they don't usually live in, like, towns they describe. They're like nomads, aren't they? Well, apparently got the, they got a town. They have a home, and it's hard. We'll end on hard home. Hard home. Dreaming of hard home. Mm-hmm. Hard home. Getting hard for hard home. <laughs> All right, I'm Oxnard. Oh. Is there anything else? I'm Dexter. <laughs> I'm boss. All right, leave your comments. Toodaloo! Twitch. Twitch.tv slash STS Dexter. At STS Dexter. At STS Oxnard. What's the Facebook? Shooting the shit. Facebook, shooting the shit. At the STS Boss. See ya. Done. Done.